Hey everybody, it's Chavin Nobody Else's Auto. We're out on a farmstead, bought several vehicles, showing you exactly as is, where is. Now right behind me, I know you can't see much because it's buried in the trees, one of the neatest Dodge pickups that I've probably ever found. Pretty cool truck. We're gonna have to do a little whittling to get this one out of the trees, but uh, we're gonna show you it to you exactly as is, where is, and give you a little bit of uh, a peek into what makes this thing so cool. Well, there she is. We got a tree that's grown up right on the driver's side, right by the left door. And we've come around the back here. We've got a tree that has actually grown up through the back bumper and through the tailgate area. So fortunately, it's not huge. Fortunately, it's still fairly small, but it is going to take a little bit of whittling to get this thing out. Probably have to cut it off right there, right where it's coming up underneath the bumper to get it loose there and then cut around the rear bumper and through the tailgate. We'll kind of come around here and take a look right there through the tailgate where the tree has actually come up right through that crack as well. Like I said, fortunately, it didn't get too big to where it's gonna, you know, I don't think it did any damage, but it's gonna take a little work to get it out of there. Now, what's cool about this thing? This is a three quarter ton four wheel drive, mid seventies era Dodge pickup. What's cool about it, and I don't know much about this package, but check this thing out, Snow Fighter. This was a mid seventies Dodge Snow Fighter. The truck looks really solid. Like I said, it has all this stuff. When we get it out of here, we'll take a little better look at it. But the, uh, I think this was a factory plow setup. Part of it is still here. Now, unfortunately, they told me when I bought this truck, somebody had stolen the actual plow itself. The plow had been around here for years. Somebody stole it, so apparently that's gone. Don't know anything about this package, just found this truck. So I've got some homework to do. We'll get you a little better look at it. The power wagon emblem's still laying there. But we're gonna get to whittling on these trees, get this thing out of here. Super cool graphics package on this thing too and uh, try to figure out what the heck a snow fighter is. So we're gonna get this thing out of here, get it back to the yard, do a little research and uh, take a little bit better look at this Dodge snow fighter. Well, she's out. She's out of the trees, got her back to the yard. Now we can actually take a good look at this super cool Dodge snow fighter. This is a mid 70s, 74, 75 right in there. Um, been sitting obviously for a long time. You've seen where it came from. You've seen what it took to get it out. But now that we've got it out here, we can take a little better look at it. Obviously this bedside's had some work. We can see some plastic in it where it was fixed down here at some point. But either they didn't, uh, they had to have re-striped it because it looks like they got into it up here because it still still has the snow fighter on the back of it. So let's go ahead and take a look around this thing and check this truck out. Pretty much all here. The left front hub and drum is missing. And like we mentioned a little bit ago in the earlier part of the video, the snow blade itself was stolen years ago. So there's a few things missing, but overall, I think this thing's pretty much all here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Great graphics. Now that we've got her out of the trees, we can see these graphics that start clear up here at the fender and kind of scale back all the way back to the snow fighter on the rear, the rear bedside. Inside of this thing, now I'm not sure what the, what they were doing here, but I think this, this blanket was kind of up in here, it was kind of falling down. But I think what the purpose of this was, because it's clipped to the sun visor, I think this was actually to just kind of protect the dash over the years. So let's go ahead and pull it back and see what we've got. Pooey. And overall, it looks like that's pretty much what it did. The dash is still intact and doesn't look too terribly bad. Another thing I've noticed about this snow fighter, since I've got it here, started looking it over a little bit, there is almost no rust in this truck. I've looked underneath it. I mean, look at the rocker panels, look at the cab corners. I can't hardly find any rust in this Dodge pickup. Considering this thing is, you know, mid seventies, that's almost amazing. I saw a spot of rust right here in this front fender coming through and right there but that's some of the worst rust I found in this truck. We see it's got clearance lights up on top. We come around the front and we see the apparatuses here. 
the grills here. This headlight bezel, I actually found this headlight bezel in the truck. So that is all intact and complete. Bumpers tweaked a little bit, but all the snow plow stuff still got sticks on it from getting it out of the trees. Looks there, other than obviously no blade. We've got the cylinder, the lines. We look up underneath here, and we've still got the bracketry underneath this truck. You can see the big differential in there for the four wheel drive to handle all this snow plowing duty. Just super cool. I'm super excited about this thing if you guys can't tell. Let's see. Oh, I gotta open that from the inside. The power wagon emblems I actually do have. You can see they had fallen off. So I took them off so they didn't blow off dragging the truck in. But I've got the power wagon emblems for the hood. Let's go ahead and pop the hood and take a look under there. And there again, basically intact. Nothing fancy, nothing extravagant, basic truck, power windows, or not, excuse me, not power windows, power brakes and power steering, and the snow plow and that's about it no air conditioning of course most of these snow fighter trucks weren't sold in climates where air conditioning was really a big deal but all this stuff is here if we look over here we can see the pump the idler all these hydraulic lines up here to the control valve for this snow fighter snow plow package small block mopar you know 318 360 not sure which one but there again, this stuff is still here. That's the amazing part about it. Still has the original radiator even with the correct Pentastar and part number still on it. So there again, pretty cool to see something this intact and original on a super cool snow fighter package truck. So let's take a look inside of this thing Still got the 200 emblems on it. We can still see our stripes going down this side too while we're standing here. Let's take a peek inside of the snow fighter over here. Tail light lenses are inside the truck. And let's get in here where we can take a little bit better look at what we got going on here. Um, okay. We had some four wheel drive notifications up top here on the roof. Front axle must not be engaged while driving on highway speeds. The locking hub warnings. Throttle lock. There's our four wheel drive lever. Did have an AM radio in it. And our controls. Now back here we had another notification for snow removal operation with original snowplow equipment furnished by Chrysler Corporation. The gross weight rating is 3850 for the front axle. Gross vehicle is 7000. So some of the warning stickers specifically for the snowplow package on this snow fighter. And once again over here we can look at the rocker panels. And see how solid this cab is. Still has the cool Dodge Fargo DeSoto tag right here on the door jam. We'll work way around the back. We've got a after or a, probably a home built headache rack on the back. Still has the NRA sticker in the back window. This did come off of an old farmstead, so this was a work truck. Toolbox fuel tank, all the stuff they needed to make this truck work. Because let's face it, these trucks were work trucks. Today, they're highly regarded. People love them. They love them having them their collections. F 45 years ago, this was a workhorse. <coughs> the only reason it existed, that was its sole purpose for existence, was work. That's why it's got a fuel tank, toolbox, headache rack. They put headache racks on them because in case something fell on it, and then wanted to smash the cab and smash you. That's what these trucks were for. 
Today we think they're cool, we think they're great, it's super exciting to find something neat. Back then it was a workhorse. We can see here, still says the snow fighter on this side. We'll come on around. We can actually see the 77 Adventurer over there as well. Be sure to check on that video too. We'll put a link in here so you can check out the video on that 77 Adventurer that came in not too long ago either. And we'll get around the back. Now, here's what we get to check out. We saw where we found this truck and what it was gonna to take to get it out. Well, now we can really check it out. Here's the trees that had to be cut out where they came around the bumper and then cut right down under here to cut cut it away from the ground. We've still even got a few limbs hanging off the side of this thing that are still attached. Now, as we saw, it came up through the tailgate as well. So we'll peek, take a peek in here and see where we had to cut and get it right around here where it gr literally grew right up through the crack of the tailgate. So that's all cut away. Fortunately, it didn't get big enough to where it really did any damage. We can see this tailgate actually looks really nice and straight. It's been repaired. They had to put some rivets in it. It probably started separating on the edges, but really in a really nice straight tailgate with the original Dodge sticker on it. Step bumper, because there again, this was a work truck. That's all it was for. They needed a step bumper because it was a work truck. They were workhorses. They were there to do a job. That's what this truck was. Fortunately, it was parked and it was preserved and really it's a pretty cool old truck. Like I said, the rust situation is amazing that I can't hardly find any on it. The original Snow Fighter graphics are super cool. Obviously, I'm excited about this truck. I'm glad I picked it up. It's gonna be a great piece for inventory. Realistically, I think this truck still could be saved or it's got a ton of super hard to find Snow Fighter parts on it, as well as all this good, clean, original sheet metal with almost no rust in this truck. So. Lots of potential for this truck either way. I'm super excited about it. These old packages that are cool. And you got to look at how they spelled it. Snow, S-N-O, Fighter, F-I-T-E-R. Obviously not exactly the correct way to spell it, but it was also easier to trademark it that way too as their own package. So neat deal. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys liked it as well. If you have any questions about this Snow Fighter, or any of the other 1,500 plus cars and trucks we've got on the ground right now, just give me a call, 620-786-4428. Having that short conversation about your project or what you're looking for for a project, year, make, model, body style, I need all that information to know if I may have something here that might help you out. So just give me a shout, we can have that talk. If you like what we're doing here, you like the Snow Fighter video, you like any of these other old cars and trucks you see sitting around here, be sure to check out the channel, Nobody Show. Definitely click that subscribe button and definitely click that notification button because we do a lot of cool live stuff on here, but that's all we do, cars, trucks, gas and oil signs, all kinds of cool old stuff because that's really all I know to talk about. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the Snow Fighter. Hope you're as excited about it as I am because I'm obviously kind of geeked out about it. Be sure to check out some of the other videos. I've got tons more new inventory coming in, a lot more cool stuff to show you. So stay tuned, lots more coming. Thanks for watching everybody.